Did you know that each one of us has our own Wii Man? Yeah, I have one and you have one too. Being 15, my Wii Man isn't very heavy or tall yet. However, my parents' Wii Man are much taller than mine because, well, they've lived longer than me. You might ask, what have you been talking about? Well, Wii stands for Waste, Electrical, and Electronic Equipment. The original Wii Man, located in Cornwall, UK, was built in 2005 and is a 23-foot-tall sculpture composed of various electronics, including computers, fridges, and TVs. The purpose of the Wii Man is to tangibly illustrate just how much e-waste is produced by an average person in a lifetime. But how is the Wii Man defined exactly? Well, a European law called the Wii Directive classified Wii into 10 categories. According to this classification, 69% of the weight of the Wii Man came from large household appliances, and 31% came from small household appliances, consumer equipment, and others. Based on these calculations, the builders of the Wii Man decided to construct this sculpture using five fridges, three washing machines, eight toasters, eight irons, 35 cell phones, eight computers, four keyboards, 23 computer mice, and six TVs. Guess what the total weight of this Wii Man is? 3.3 tons, as heavy as a killer whale. In this case, bigger is definitely not better. But that's not the worst. This data from 2005 is now outdated. E-waste has become the world's fastest growing waste stream with a growth rate of 4% per year. So imagine the numbers today. Our generation will have a fast replacement rate of our electronics and will only worsen as time goes on. I'm only 15, but I'm already on my second laptop. I have an iPhone, an iPad, and I've used a few gaming consoles such as the Wii and Xbox. With more and more innovative tech products being produced each year, this list will go on and on. Calculations show that my generation will produce 8.5 tons of e-waste per person in our lifetime. That means that my lifetime Wii Man will be more than twice the size of the 2005 Wii Man. That's crazy. Obviously, our Wii Man isn't some sort of transformer that we should be proud of. Just like so many people who are controlling their weight through dieting and working out, we should also control the weight of our Wii Man. But how do we do that? Reduce, reuse, and recycle, of course. It takes time, care, and dedication to make things grow, just like it takes time, care, and dedication to make the world a better place, even if it means a shift in the way we use our electronics. Cell phones, for example, are small but account for a huge portion of e-waste. Americans change their phones about every 18 months on average, but are there any major differences between the iPhones 12 and 13? Not really. Let's face it, many of our electronics are still functioning pretty well, so we don't really need to buy a new one. So let's just keep our phone, tablet, headphones just a little bit longer. We'll not only save money, but also save our planet. However, your e-waste isn't just in the palm of your hand. Think about it. Do you have any unused electronics lying around your house collecting dust? Just a few months ago, I found two iPhones, one Samsung Galaxy and two Motorola smartphones lying in one of my parents' drawers. But why don't we give them away or sell them so that other people can use these devices? Some people may not know what to do with their old electronics. But after a little digging, I found out that there are so many people who could be using our phones. There are veterans who would be happy to receive updated phones, and there are nonprofit organizations that would benefit from the sales of phones, whether they are supporting domestic violence victims or endangered species. And it's not just nonprofit organizations. This past summer, while watching Caleb Dressel win yet another Olympic gold medal, I learned that all 5,000 Tokyo Olympic medals were made out of 79,000 tons of e-waste, including 6 million phones. E-waste contains many precious metals, such as gold and silver. Recoverable resources being dumped or burned each year are valued at a whopping $57 billion. This shocking news about the Olympics brought an interesting and urgent topic into my life. And the more I learned about it, the more I felt compelled to take action. As I conclude, I want you to take action as well, starting with used batteries. Americans throw away about 3 billion batteries each year. While there are recycling containers for bottles and cans everywhere you go, it's hard to find convenient places to recycle your used batteries. Take a look at this picture. This is just a very small portion of the batteries we collected at our most recent battery collection event. Notice the funny battery containers. You've got the Fogers coffee cup, the 
apple juice bottle, the metal tea can, and even a homemade box. What does this picture tell us? Well, this is how people are storing their used batteries, and probably for a long time. I, my guess is that they didn't want to throw away their used batteries, but they also didn't know what to do with them. That's where we come in, and for the past two months, that's what we've been doing. More specifically, we launched a campaign called 1MB, aiming to collect and recycle one million batteries. Now, one million might seem intimidating, but let's just take 100 people in this room. If each one of you donated 50 batteries, we would have already prevented 5,000 batteries from being sent to landfills. If you're interested in contributing, you can check out 1millionbatteries.org to explore all the possible ways you can do to help. So there you have it. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is how we control the weight of our wee man. E-waste is a global issue, and there is no overnight solution. Through our constant efforts, no matter how big or how small, we will make a greater impact. And I hope that this talk regarding the wee man planted a seed in each one of you. Think about your home. How many phones are in that drawer? How many batteries are in that Folgers coffee container? The world is dying, and we're contributing to that. So let's save our world, one battery at a time.